Hey guys, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel if you're a current subscriber. I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I got a new job. I'm driving bus for an uh, elderly community in Concord. I love it so far. Um, I work half the time and make twice the money. So that was kind of a no-brainer. I am going to miss the school bus the kids, uh, the kitchen in the high school, and all the people I worked with. Um, I told them I'd stay on as like a sub. I'm going to have quite a bit of time off, so I think that if they needed help, I could go in and help for a little while and catch up and say hi to everybody and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, still at 184. I'm always going to be at 184 until I get my butt moving. Uh, my trainer and I have been indulging in um, 25 cent scoops of ice cream in the afternoon. So this is my last week of training. Hopefully I won't have time to get scoops of ice cream after my training weeks. So this is the second week and we've done it probably uh, last week was like three week, three days. And this week, one so far, but it's only Tuesday, so. Mm. But I am packing my lunch. I'm bringing a healthy lunch. Uh, vegetables with hummus, salad. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Salad, a cheese stick, a light cheese stick, and yogurt. And trying to drink my water. It's kind of hard to drink water and drive. So, no drinking and driving. Uh, so I haven't been getting quite as much water in. Of course, it's been cooler here in the Northeast, which is nice. This is more my weather. Here comes the fall. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, I am not a summer person. It flares my fibromyalgia. The hot days, I don't do anything but sit in the AC. Because it's either the heat or the humidity. I haven't figured out which. But it sends me for a loop. So, it's very difficult to work on hot days. I hurt everywhere. Mm. So thank God it's cooling down here in New Hampshire. Um, today's kind of a rainy day, which is poopy, but yeah, whatever. It'll pass, I'm sure. And, you know, we're beginning of August, so the heat's not gone for us yet. We got like halfway into September before it really cools down for apple picking, so... Oh, let's see what else. So, um, hubby and I haven't been doing much. <clears throat> Just working and cleaning and packing. And uh, we're looking to move to a new apartment pretty soon, within the next six to eight months, somewhere in there. So we're packing away the tchotchke and, you know, all the stuff we don't use every day. Get that going. Um been trying to pay down some debt. Uh, we read the book, uh, Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover. So we're trying to put that into place that we want to be totally debt free in six years. It'll take about that to get it, get it done. We have about 60,000 in debt. So between cars, credit cards, medical bills, you, you name it, we got it. Um, the only thing we don't have is a house. Yeah. Thank you, Country Wine Mortgage. Anyway, that's a whole other discussion. So, we're still in an apartment, and we're saving. After our debt is paid down, we're going to start saving for a down payment on a second home. Uh, or our second home, not a second home. we got to get one first, right? So, yeah, just down to business. We've been doing everydollar.com. It's a free budgeting website. It's really great and it allows you to move things if you need to move them. Like this week we went way over budget on our pet, uh, what we planned for pets because the front line that we use for the flea and ticks were on sale at Tractor Supply for like it was like $35 each or something for three months. So that's like $11 off what we usually pay, which is super good. So we got everybody a package of that. So that was, um, we got the two dogs. So that was 60, 
seven-ish or so, 68. And then the cat, too. So I think we only budgeted like $20. So we're way over budget. So that the every dollar budgeting tool helps you to figure out what you can move. Like we'll go down on our grocery budget this month uh, to offset that pet purchase. So that's really cool. Um, and then, of course, we have another paycheck, an extra paycheck in August, which will go straight towards debt. We're going to knock off some small um, medical bills and we'll get the debt snowball rolling, as they say. So, good times here. It's going to be difficult. We're going to, you know, have some growing pains changing our spending habits. And we'll do it, though. Bob and I are on the same page with most things, so I'm sure we'll work together and really get her done. Um... What else? I'm doing a lot of cooking at home, so I will share that. I'm going to delve into the yeast breads and rolls this month. I haven't done a lot of that. I do have a bread machine, however, I don't like how it comes out. So I'm going to try making it and, you know, letting it rise and baking it in a bread pan and all that stuff. The old way, not, not the bread machine way. So I'll, uh, do a video on that soon too and and the debt payments we'll keep you updated on that I do recommend that book he is down to earth and real uh, that Dave Ramsey total money makeover a lot of times I think you can get it in the libraries so if you don't want to spend money on it I would suggest trying to check it out there uh, we got it on audiobook because we belong to Audible. Um, but that's really good. And it, it just, if nothing else, if you don't want to do what he suggests, it kind of makes you think about things a little bit better. You know, we were considering a lease um, for a long time, and now I know that is the worst way to get a car, to have a car. Um, I wish that we had driven a beater box for a few more years instead of starting the whole car payment thing, but it, it is what it is. So now we got to get out of it and just drive what we're, we're driving. Bob has a new, uh, fairly new truck that he's paying payments on and I have a Subaru Outback. So, you know, both of us are very happy with the vehicles that we have. So we need to just make them last longer, you know, after the payment. Usually the payment's over and then we go upgrade and get a new payment, new car. So, um, anywho, that's about it. Um, we're going to a cousin's cookout and that should be bunches of fun. I haven't seen anybody in a long time and Bob's looking forward to that. And that's it. Just new job and debt and weight loss and ah, the struggle's real. Anyway, I will talk to you later and uh, I'll hope to make another video before the end of the week. We'll see how the time goes. I'm still full time right now in training, so we'll see how much time I have. All right. Blessings.